hi there so for today's video i'm going to be showing you just over 100 items that i've received in glossy box i was subscribed to glossy box from september 2011 which is the year glossy box was founded and i stayed subscribed until february 2015 so i was subscribed for around two and a half years so first of all i'm just going to talk about some of my favorite products that i received in glossy box and then for all of the products that i somehow still have in my collection i've made like a little montage video where i'll just show you the products rather than going through each one and talking about them because i feel like that would take a lot of time i also will be throwing out most of the items that I'm showing in this video because I didn't realise how old they actually were until I started planning this and some of them are definitely expired by now. So if you don't know about Glossy Box, it's basically a monthly subscription box. It costs £10 plus postage and packaging and you get five products. So it's either hair care, skin care, makeup and they're either full size products or deluxe samples. I discovered a lot of brands through Glossy Box that I still love today so I thought it might be interesting to have a look back and see what we got in our boxes when they were first starting out. Okay so the first product is the Rituals Foam and Shower Gel. This was actually the first product from Rituals I'd ever tried and I think it was the first time I'd heard of them as well. So the one I got was called Yogi Floor and it was like Indian rose and sweet almond scent and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I don't think they actually make this one anymore, which is a shame because I would definitely buy it again. Although most Rituals products I've tried do also smell really, really nice. We got a lip coat in a box one time, which is basically a lipstick sailor. And because I used to wear red lipstick like all the time, um, I used to just put this on over the top and it kept my lipstick in place for a lot longer. So yeah, I really like that product. The Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. We got a little pot of this in a glossy box and I absolutely love this product. It's basically like a rice based powder and I used to just pour a bit in my hand and then add a few drops of water. And then when you mix it together, it forms like a paste and then you just rub it onto your face and use it's like an exfoliator but it doesn't feel rough like an exfoliator and every time I used it my skin just felt amazing and yeah I really like this one I would have bought it full size but I can't really justify paying the price for it I think it's about £51 for full size although I'm sure they do make a smaller one so I might have a look into that and I might buy that one I also got a Dermalogica Clear Start Kit so this was like a little three step kit. You got a foam and wash, a tone and mist and an SPF matte moisturiser. And that was a good little product as well. It came in like a little box and I really enjoyed trying those ones out. The L'Oreal Mythic Hair Mask, I think that's what it's called. This product became like an all time favourite. It's basically like, well obviously it's like a hair mask and it, we got like a small decent sized pot of it actually and i did go on to buy the full size because i really like this product and yeah that was definitely an all-time favorite product from them another hair care product that i really liked was the margarabian i hope i'm saying that right hair treatment oil so basically i used to tail dry my hair and put this into the ends and then once i blow dried it my hair was super soft and shiny and felt really nice so quite a few years ago, I remember this product getting mentioned quite a lot on YouTube. It was the Tarte 4-in-1 Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I always wanted to try it, but I couldn't justify paying £21 for a mascara just in case it, it didn't work for me. So I was actually thinking about cancelling the glossy box, and then, but I just didn't for some reason. And then in the next box, we got the Tarte Mascara. It was just a little sample size but I was so glad when I saw it in there because I wanted to try it for ages and I did actually go on to buy the full size after this because I did really like it and yeah it's a good mascara. We also got a mascara by Blink and Go. I'm not sure this brand even exists anymore but I really like that mascara. That was a full size one and a Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Mascara. That was also full size and those two were really good mascaras as well. The Anatomicals Zap 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 Get That Trap. So this was basically a spot stick treatment but it had two ends to it so there was a day and a night and you basically just blotted on any spots that you had and yeah I really liked this product as well. I, um, I found that it worked as much as a like, tra spot treatment can and yeah I really liked that one. We got a Revive um, Cream Luster SPF thing it was and this was just in a little pot and I really, I remember using this and I really liked it and then when I looked up 
the full size it was like £235 so I used it super sparingly after that um, that was a really good cream but there was no way I was ever going to uh, buy the full size one which I shouldn't have been surprised how expensive it was because it did come in the Harrods edition of Glossy Buffs so yeah. Cordily was another brand that I'd heard of through YouTube and I'd wanted to try it for a while so when we got the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum in the Glossy Box I was really happy about this one and it was a really good product as well. Um, my skin always felt really nice and soft after using it so yeah I was happy with that one. Some more great skincare products we got were the Cushy Toner. I remember I really liked this one and it smelled really nice and I really liked it on my skin as well. It took us ages to get through that actually because it was a full size. I think the bottle was about this big but yeah that was a really nice toner. The Mono Skin Perfecta. This was like a day and night cream in one and it was supposed to like smooth out fine lines and stuff like that. But yeah, I did really like that cream. It was really nice. I think it was one of the only mono products I got from Glossy Box that I actually used the whole thing up. Because there were other good products, but this one just stuck out the most to us. The Clarins Day and Night Cream. I got these together in a box once. I did prefer the night cream over the day cream, but they were both really good products. We got a Figs and Rouge. It was like a skin lip body balm type thing. It came in a little tin. And I really liked the um, design on the packaging on the tin and it smelled amazing and I used to use it on my lips and like any dry skin and stuff that I had. Um, another product that I really liked the smell of was the Eve's Rocha, the Nutritive Vegetal Skin Cream and this was a really nice little cream like I say it smelled really nice and I used to use it on my elbows because I get quite rough skin on my elbows I still do now but that used to help soften them up a bit so the first Essie nail polish that I ever tried was from Glossy Box and I got the shade cute as a button and I really liked it I used to wear it all the time I still actually have it and it's still probably one of me all-time favourite nail polish colours two more of my favourite makeup products from Glossy Box was the Murad Skin Perfecting Primer. I really like this product. It came in a little 30ml pump bottle. I still actually have a tiny bit left of it, but it should probably go in the bin now. But anyway, I used to only use this when I was like going out out because I was trying to preserve it for as long as I could. But yeah, I really like that. And also the Lollipops Black Eye Pencil. Yeah, that was just like a twist up black pencil. And I used to just put it on my waterline and um, smudge it out with a different smudger thing what I had. I do still have that pencil and I'm probably still going to keep it actually because it's never caused us any issues. But yeah, I really like those two as well. So I also got this little Dermalogica bag in one of the boxes and it just came with like three Dermalogica products inside. But yeah, I forgot to include this in the next bit so I just thought I would show it now. So those were all my favourite items from Glossy Box that I can remember. So I'm going to move on to the next bit now. It's only about three minutes long but it took us forever to edit. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs>